Hey y'all, this is Miss Rossi at Pivot Boss. Today we're going to use a KiwiCo kit to do a fun activity that you can do at home. And today we're going to do an activity that combines art and science called a paint pendulum. And I know you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this. It's a really awesome activity. So first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the science behind a pendulum. So a pendulum is an object that hangs from a fixed point and it swings back and forth because of gravity. So let me show you an example. So this is the pendulum that we're going to use today. And you can see it's hung from a fixed point by a string. And then there's an object hanging at the bottom. And so when I pull it back and let it swing, it swings back and forth until it slowly stops. So this is also how a swing works. So a swing is hung from a fixed point and then the chains come down and you push the person forward and they swing back and forth. So that is a pendulum. And another example is a grandfather clock. You may have seen that, how the metal part hangs down and swings back and forth to tell time. And gravity is a really important science concept. So gravity is the force that keeps our feet on the ground. And it's also the force that when you hold an object up, it falls down to the ground. So gravity makes things fall and it keeps our feet on the ground. So you may be wondering what gravity has to do with the pendulum. Let me show you our pendulum again. So when I pull this back, it swings down because gravity is pulling it down towards the ground. And it also swings because I give it a little bit of a push. But because it's fixed, it keeps moving back and forth like this. So I hold it up, give it a push to get it going, and gravity pulls it down towards the ground and it keeps swinging back and forth because it's fixed up here. So we're going to use that cool science concept today to make these really amazing paint lines on our paper. So now that you're science experts, let's get to it and I'll show you how to make your own paint pendulum. Step one, place the fastening guide with the printed side face down. Place a circle sticker over each hole. Then you're gonna turn it over and rotate it so the all green edge is on the bottom. Then place a bolt upside down in each hole. Step three, turn one of the top frame legs so the large gap is on the left. Slide it onto the bolts. Step four, Turn one of the bottom frame legs so the holes line up with the bolts and slide it on. Together, they should look like an upside down Y. Step five, screw a nut onto each bolt with your fingers. Then tighten both with a wrench. Remove the fastening guide. Step six, repeat steps two to five to make the other leg. Now you have two. Step seven, turn the crossbar so the hole is on the bottom and grab one of the legs. Line up the notches in the crossbar with a large gap in the leg. Slide the pieces together. Step eight, hook a rubber band into the notch on the top of the leg. Stretch it down and hook it into the notch under the crossbar. Step nine, repeat steps seven and eight to attach the other leg on the other side. Now you're done with part A and you have your frame built. Move on to part B, which is adding on the bottle. Step one, tie a loop at one end of a long cord. Poke the other end through the hole in the top of the frame. Grab the cord stopper and push down on the button to open it. Poke the cord through the hole, then let go of the button. Step two, slide the S hook onto the loop in the cord. Step three, Grab the short cord and the bottle. Tie a knot in one end of the cord, then poke the other end up through one of the holes in the bottle. 
Step four, pull the cord back down through the other hole, tie another knot to hold it in place. Step five, use the loop created with the short cord to hang the bottle from the S hook. Step six, tug the bottle so the cord stopper is up against the crossbar. Then use the cord stopper to adjust the height of the bottle so it swings freely. The tip should hover just barely above the table. So stop and check here and make sure that the bottom of the bottle is not touching your paper. Now you can test your pendulum by pulling the bottle back away from the center and then pushing it towards the left to make it move in a circle. So practice making your pendulum move in a circle a few times. Now you can create your spiral art. Step one, unfold a piece of paper and place it in the middle of your workspace. Smooth out the creases in the paper as much as you can, then sit the frame so that the bottle hangs over the middle of your paper. You might want to cover your workspace as well by putting some newspaper underneath or putting it on some sort of uh, basket. Step two, press on the bottle cap to make sure it's on tightly. Look for the line marked on the bottle that shows how much paint to add. Step three, pick a paint color and shake it well to mix it. Then gently squeeze a little bit of paint into the bottle. Only fill it up to the line. Too much paint can make a big mess. Step four, while the cap is still on, practice swinging your bottle in a circle. So now it's time to paint. You can carefully and quickly uncap the bottle, then give it a light push so the bottle swings in a circle. When it stops or slows down, you can pull it back and give it another push until your bottle runs out of paint. So you can keep doing this a couple of different times with different pieces of paper. Make sure that you wash the bottle out if you're gonna change paint colors. And then you're gonna let your art dry for about one day because it takes a while to draw. Now you can look through the rest of the magazine and have some fun with some of the pendulum games like stacking up cups and putting one of the wood circles on the bottom of your pendulum instead of the bottle to use it kind of as a wrecking ball. So boys, what is a pendulum? A pendulum is a standable object that you hang a container on and you spin it, swing it, swing it to where it'll make the cocoon. Yeah, so you got a lot of those things right. So definitely the object is hanging from it and the swinging. So pendulum is an object and it hangs from a fixed point like this and it swings back and forth. It swings back and forth because of gravity. So what are some examples of a pendulum? You guys can just shout out anything that you can think of. A swing? A swing. A great grandmother um, British Yes, a grandfather clock. So Asa said a swing, and then Caleb got the grandfather clock, and another one is a wrecking ball. Tether ball! Yeah, tether ball is kind of like a pendulum. So what makes a pendulum swing back and forth? Gravity. Gravity, and then also the push you give it too. So we pushed our pendulums. The force. Mm -hmm. So the force, exactly, Caleb. It was a an engineering, physics, and a creative object. Yeah. I like how like how it swings around to where it makes it look like a working I hope you all had fun today making your paint pendulum paintings. I'll see you next time for the next unveiling of our KiwiCo kits. You can catch us on YouTube at BGC South AL. See you next time.